John Calipari's recruits are actually one and done, in particular the most important ones. You want to be on his bench, you better have high aspirations, including the willingness to fight for your life. Calipari consistently recruits some of the top players in this country. His team's loaded with blue chip talent. But five years ago, he met a 16-year-old high school student athlete in an Indianapolis hospital that was diagnosed with a life-threatening illness. It didn't keep Coach from being invested, and that has paid dividends for all involved. Kevin was a blonde hair, blue eyes stud muffin <laughs> back in high school. He ran cross country and he played basketball and also baseball. UK was his big dream. In February 2010, Kevin Massey woke up in a nightmare, unable to move. At 16 years young, he was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. His first prognosis was the tumor was going to take his life within nine months. Then Kevin took a severe turn for the worst. He had a brain hemorrhage, bleeding from the pons. And when that happened, they gave us 24 hours. Eddie Schilling, my former assistant, who was coaching high school in Indiana, called me one night and said there was a young student who was the biggest Kentucky fan that had a brain tumor and it happened suddenly and they, it's looking bad and can you call? And I said, well, I'm supposed to be in Indiana tomorrow. Came up to see you, kid. Coach Cal came to visit us on the third day that we were there in the hospital. We were so touched by him to see our son and give him a little bit of happiness in his, what we thought, final days. The only memories I have of that are what my dad tells me or what I see in pictures. My dad told me the first time I saw him, I actually cried. When I saw him the first time, Kevin and his family, it didn't look good. But the family told me about Kentucky, and I, you know, I whispered to him, hey, you get yourself healthy, you come with us. 40 days after meeting Coach Cal, Massey left the hospital having received the maximum amount of radiation treatment allowed. The cancer and the radiation had taken a toll on the teenager. This is my life now. I just got to deal with it, basically. Move on. Kevin worked so hard at everything that he wanted to do. And so we knew he was not going to come home to just sit around and die. And the boy who once had 24 hours to live was defying the odds. First regaining some motor skills on the left side of his body, then regaining his speech. And finally, six months after his first diagnosis, he returned to school. The whole time, Coach Cal stayed in touch. Now, I was checking daily. We were putting out tweets and the Big Blue Nation was behind it. And then I was invested. I went to his high school and met with his counselors and they were amazed at his strides. It was during that visit in September of 2010 that Coach Calipari set a goal for Massey. Get into Kentucky and a student manager job would be waiting. The whole idea was you have something to live for, now fight. God has plans for you, now fight. He, he just set that one goal to make it in the cop. It's like the domino effect. Everything else just happened after that. In August 2012, Massey enrolled at the University of Kentucky. I felt a great, a great deal of accomplishment. Man, I did something really big here. What was your reaction when you found out he got into Kentucky? Oh, I was ecstatic. And then my other question is, how did he do it? And it shows you what his inner drive is. Leaving him down there was really hard as a mom and him being sick. And then I thought to myself, how could I be so selfish to want him here with me when his dream has always been to go to UK? Just the miracles um, happen. And he's here. He's, he's in the gym all the time. John Robick and he are now new brothers. Since Massey's arrival on campus, assistant coach John Robick has provided guidance and support. I'm proud of all the players, 
that over the past three years that have been so warming and welcoming to him. There's no difference in Kevin than anybody else as part of this program. He was just like one of the guys. Yeah, we're just happy to see him every day. Every day he comes in there, he doesn't miss a practice, and he's very dedicated. Our players see it, see him, and my concern is, forget about the towels, forget about the water bottles. I want to know what you're doing academically, and you're growing in those areas. I know he wants to graduate from college. I'll be there like he's one of my kids at graduation. I'd be that proud. I will be there for him, whatever his goals are. I just want him to keep striving and not have anything hold you back. I like Maya. Living Maya is it happens. Um, whatever life does at you, just be the bigger person and be willing to go through with what you want to do, not with what life wants you to do. That was Kaylee Hartung reporting there. Kevin thinks this Kentucky team has the talent to stay undefeated, and if they make it to the Final Four, he's going to have the opportunity to see history in his hometown.